I have renovation work that went on into my house and of course I had to look at the costs and we are going now to look how MS Project helped me in managing the costs. I have here a project which is a house renovation project where I do carpentry work, there are plumbing, tiled setting, electricity, kitchen has to be changed, bathroom furniture too has to be changed, some paintings and then various works. And I will also do in this project the project uh, tracking and with all that what needs to be done first is here to add a column. And it's the column cost. To get that column you go here, insert column and you go here down till you find cost and here you can select the column. This is a project called renovation so if into this project you want to view what is called the summary task of the project you will have to go to format and here project summary task. You can change the name of the project, it's taking the name of the file and I will name it renovation. Before to go any further I need to tell you how MS Project is handling the costs for the different kinds of resources. In MS Project we find three kinds of resources, work, material and costs. To understand better resources, I have a video on resources. We are now interested of the costs of those resources. The work resource is maybe the easiest to understand because it's a number of hours, for example, for a worker, multiplied by an hour rate. It can also be a daily rate that you can have, for, for example, for developers, for consultants that would come into your uh, company. The second one is called material. There is there a question of quantity and the quantity is then multiplied by a unit price. We see in some case of building a house that you might need a certain volume of concrete delivered on site. For example, you could use 10 cubic meters of concrete. Then if each cubic meter is 200 euros, then it would make uh, 2000 euros for the 10 cubic meters of concrete. So this is a material resource and it's its cost. For material resources, there might be also a cost of use which is added. This is a one-time cost that we add independent of the number or of the quantity of material you are going to use. As an example, when I had to dig some part of the earth around my house, I needed a crane. So the crane was something like 500 euros a day. So I used that crane for several days. So this is the quantity multiplied by a unit price. But they also told me that to bring the crane, there was a flat rate of 100 euros. So this is a single cost of use. So I had those 100 plus, let's say, three days of 500, 1,500, which made in all 1,600. The third one, which is just cost. Uh, in the case of my house, when the carpenters did the walls, the ceilings and everything, they proposed me, uh, they made me an offer and then I accepted the offer and all what I have to do is to pay a certain amount. I don't have to take care about how they are going to work when. It's just a question of cost for me. So this is an example. There might be also in IT projects, for example, you are going to buy a server. So this is just a question of cost. In this project, I will work myself as the project manager. 
So I set a resource as PM project manager here. The type of the resource is work. We see here the three different kinds of resources we can have. As a work resource, what is important is the hour rate we are going to, to fix on which I'm going to work. I've put here 100 euros per hour. What will come out is that there will be a calculation between the hours spent into the project multiplied by the hour rate and which will make the costs, I do costs to the project. I'm not going to use overtime hours here so this column is going to be empty and we have here a column for certain resources where there is an additional cost once you are using that resource there is a first time cost so i'll come back to this uh, later on we have carpenters that will work since uh, carpenters have made me flat rates for the project uh, they will be considered as cost resources here, as well as the plumber, it's the same case, the electrician too, and the painters as well. The other resource, uh, the external help, is someone that comes to, to help me in the project that is really helpful and is also considered a work resource. That work resource will be costing to the project 50 euros per hour. There is no overtime rate and there is no cost per use of that uh, resource. That last column here, accrue at, I will leave it for later on. There is one resource here I haven't spoken about. It's the resource for the tile setter. The tile setters are a bit particular because they said to me, look, we are going to charge you 30 euro per square meters that we put of tiles and an additional uh, flat rate for the start for this first leveling of uh, your floor for this it's not a work resource it's really a material resource in the sense that there is a cost per square meters so they said to me that they are going to charge me 30 euros per square meters of tiles and to do the basement they are going to charge me 150 euros additional here so this for the moment is what we have as defined resources in our project I'll go back now to the Gantt chart and I'm going to look directly at the tiles. The tiles are here, you, you see, and I will decide that the resource that works on the tiles are the tile setters. So I will define them here inside. And you see that for the moment there is a cost here. Uh, it's 180. 180 is 150 plus 30. So they took one unit and there is that one shot cost of 150. The two of them, they make those 180. Of course, that they are going to do more than just one square meters, those tile setters. So it's what I'm going to do here. I've entered the task information and I went into resources where I could find again the tile setters and you see the number of unit and here is calculated the amount that they cost for the moment so i will change this and we were speaking of 30 square meters so i can say here okay here also okay and you see here we have a change 30 square meters times 30 it's 900 euros then you have here those 150 which is for the basement so we are set with the tile setters and I think you understood now how the kind of resource which is of type material is costed. And you see here, here, the tile setter, you have into square bracket the number of units. If now I go back to information here about the tiles and I go into resources, you see that here the cost has also been adapted. So with that set, we now know 
that the tile setters are going to cost us 1050 euros in this project. I'm going now to jump here down to the various work. Uh, it's where I'm going to use the resource which is the um, external help. This resource is here and you see since there is an hour rate multiplied by the 300 hours that I estimated that this resource will be used in the project, we quickly jump to 15,000 euros. So this is the work for the various works. The cost is 15,000. From then on, I will jump here up to the carpentry. The carpentry work, I could simply say, since it's a cost resource, it's a 15,000 euros. And just put it that way into MS Project and you see that MS Project is doing the calculation by itself. We have here on the summary task for execution, the current cost is 33,000 550 euros and at the level of the complete project since we don't have any other costs there is the same amount. Now for the plumbing which is the task number five here I'm going to do it in a different way. I'm doing a right click and going down to information about the task and I go here up into resources and here I'm going to assign to this task the plumber. And I say here for the moment that the plumber will cost 6,000 euros. You see? And I just have to say, okay. And immediately here, you see, I have the 6,000 euros that come. Since it is a resource that has been assigned of type cost, you find the name of the resource, which is plumber, and in square brackets you find the cost since the resource is of type cost. So I'm going to do the same for the electricity here. I'm going to select the electricians here and the cost is also 6000. Now what I have also which is left to me are the paintings here down. It's the same kind of resource. It's again a type cost and they are costing us 2,500 euros. With that, I have the major work that is in place here. And there is one point that I haven't told about. It's the project tracking. You see that the project manager here is defined as a resource and is defined as a part-time resource with 25%. Uh, I'm not going to enter into details how I do part-time resources. There is a complete video on this. It's the video number 14. It's about part-time work. I have now two tasks that are left without costs. It's the kitchen furniture, so I could do it in a quick way by just adding here 10,000 and here to the bathroom to add 6,000, but I don't want to work that way. I will go here again into the resource sheet and define here kitchen as a resource. It will be a resource of type cost for me and a second resource which will be bathroom and will also be defined as a resource of type cost. Now into the GAN chart I can go into the information about the task kitchen and here I can find the same principle with my resources and I can say here the cost is 10,000 say OK and I do exactly the same for the resource for the bathroom and here it's 6000. With that I have completed numbers here and I can say that the project for the execution phase is going to cost 64,050 euros 
and it's also the cost of the complete project at the level here up of the summary task. One thing is left to me, it's to go back to the resource sheet and to tell you what to think about a crew at. For example, if I take the carpenters, we know that their cost is 15,000. If it's prorated, we know also that they are going to work for three weeks. So 15,000 divided by three is going to make 5,000. It's the calculation that does Microsoft MS Project when it's calculating prorating. As time passes, costs are calculated accordingly to the time. The first week 5,000, the second week it's an additional 5,000, so in all it's a 10,000 cost. If they would say, the carpenters, we want to be paid at the beginning, before to start to do the work we want to be paid the 15,000, then we would have to set this as start. And of course you guessed that the third possibility it's that the carpenters, they say, oh, we just want to be paid at the end, the 15,000. So this is really important because when you are going to talk about the cash flow needed into the project, you need to know when you need to have which amount. So this is it about Accru at. So that's it, you know about costs and calculation of the different kinds of resources. It's a topic that I will extend in the future. So there will be about cost estimation, cost into project management in general. You liked it, you can sum up. For me it was a pleasure, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, tell your friend, share the video and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>